as Real Madrid win by two goals to one. They're looking good, Ali. They are, and there are so many options for Carlo Ancelotti in this team. Today he went for rotation, he went for a different group of players, and when those things weren't quite working out early on the second half, he turns right back and around and says, Valverde, all right, come over here and try to change the game. Rodrigo, who started the match, then took more of a central position, ends up scoring the game winner, but there are options that he has off the bench, whether that's Valverde today, whether that's Tony Cruz coming off the bench today. We saw it in last week how the depth of Real Madrid and Ancelotti and the ability to make decisions on the run made a difference as well. This is a team that just knows who they are. And even when they're not playing at their best, we talked about the certainty of Lewandowski putting chances away. There's a certainty about Real Madrid of winning games. Yep. Just when you think Betis is in this game, oh, look at them. They're hanging around. If you've watched Real Madrid play, you know full well that while Betis looks like they're fighting, they're huffing and puffing, here they come. You know who's going to win this game? Real Madrid. They know that, and Betis knows That's that. That's the key, isn't it? If, if ever there was a start, actually, just looking at that, the, the possession was 50-50. Right. Mm. But Real Madrid did 24 shots to eight. So that tells you that they're quite happy to just sit behind the ball at times and then absolutely kill you on the break with pace. Indeed. So Real Madrid remain perfect in La Liga. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.